Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh my god, I love being such a little sassy little girl. Just kidding. I don't know how to do intros, that's why I always like, you know? Anyways, um, for today's video, I decided to do the other back to school part of my little series. So the first one that you guys saw last week was more glam, more, you know, you're wearing found, you're wearing makeup, okay? This one, it's like, we're gonna try to enhance some of the stuff without wearing too much makeup because let's be honest, not a lot of people want to be waking up six in the morning to, you know, yeah, so for today's video, that's what I'm going to show you guys. And I kind of recreated what I would do if I was still in high school where I have to, you know, wake up and um, have to work with this. So I got out of the shower not that long ago, haven't moisturized my face, I haven't put anything, I haven't touched my face practically, um, and I haven't touched my hair either. So I'm going to show you guys kind of uh just something quick that i would do so let's get started with this video after you wake up after you you know wash your face because we're trying to wash our face um what i usually use is just any cleanser um of course you're gonna find something that fits your skin needs you know if you have more acne you're gonna get an acne cleanser if you don't really have acne you just want to clean your face there's also stuff for that, I guess. Um, I just, right now I'm using the Aveeno something cleanser, cream, cream cleanser, I think. That's what it's called. I really don't know, but um, my skin is not really, um, you know, breaking out at the moment. I do suffer with a lot, like, not suffer, I do struggle with a lot of blackheads, um, so that's the only thing, but... I really just try to like get over that and you know in my everyday life whatever so after I'm done with that I wash my face you always want to moisturize even if you are oily you want to moisturize your face because this will be the cause of you also breaking out you you, you should just moisturize so this is the moisturizer I use it's the Lubriderm daily moisture lotion i get mine at costco but you know this isn't really like a face lotion but i don't really care because i've i've learned that doesn't really matter and my my skin doesn't like feel any different so if my skin looks good i you know i can save a few buckaroos and not spend some money but you know you if you have a face lotion that you know works for you just use your own don't go and buy this product because i'm using it use what works for your skin but you want to moisturize your skin so because we're going for a really quick no makeup makeup look um you know we're not going to use a whole lot of products. So what I would use, not really every day, because to be honest, guys, I would not wear any drop of makeup. And if I did, I would only wear my eyebrows and um, mascara. But for this video, I'm kind of putting a little bit more, not like a whole lot, but a little bit more onto this look than just eyebrows and mascara so what i'm gonna do is usually you know we're in school we sleep really late because we have homework we're studying blah 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 so what i would recommend you guys do is take your concealer your favorite concealer any concealer um just make sure that it's very very close to your skin shade which that's the problem with me this is not close to my skin shade as you guys can see it's very white but I'm gonna use it for the sake of the video because I don't have any other concealer so what we're gonna do is we're just going to try and hide our bags and um, the discoloration of our eyelids that's pretty much all you need to do if you do have more like pimples or something else that you want to cover you can also use that on your face but for today I'm only gonna cover my bags also when you do this um you don't want a lot of 
product you legit want the tiniest bit just to kind of cover it but you know you're still look like you don't have any makeup on I can't emphasize enough when I say make sure you get a shade that's close to your shade that's close to your skin shade because then it's gonna look like a crazy mess so this step I thought was very very important for us oily and combination skin girls because girl we get so oily throughout the day so what I so what I'm gonna do next is gonna help you guys um, with that controlling your oils so if you are dry you don't really need a bunch of powders on your face like honestly don't even mess with powders except setting it under your eye and you only need the tiniest tiniest bit but for us girls you know that are way more than yeah that too much oil too much to even understand why um I'm going to take my CoverGirl Clean Matte Powder, and I've said this before, I said this in my last video, this powder will keep you matte the whole freaking day. You can be sweating the whole day and you'll still look good with this powder. We're going to apply this powder on our faces. Um, so yes, if you have dry skin only under your eyes or wherever you put that concealer because you're not trying to make a crease. And if you are oily skin, I recommend you put this all over your face but very, very lightly. So because you guys know that I like to use this powder with the little pad it comes in, I'm not gonna do that in this video because you know we're not trying to use a lot of powder. I'm gonna use my powder brush, which picks up less product and applies less product on the face. So I'm going to start off by putting it under my eyes, just lightly setting it under my eyes, and then not really getting a lot of product, I'm going to just set the rest of my face and make sure my oil is controlled. So as you guys can see, my face still looks like I don't have any makeup on. Like it looks like, you know, like my, my skin. But we have controlled our oil. We have hidden somewhat our under eye bags. Controlled our, what is it called? Discoloration on our eyelids. And you're good to go with your face. So now that we're going to move on to our eyebrows, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of tea. You honestly don't need to put anything on your eyebrows if you have eyebrows like me. Um, they're very like, very dark. So like, you don't need anything. But you know, I know there's some people that have lighter eyebrows or have more sparse eyebrows. So I'm going to show you guys how kind of like to fill them in when... You want them to be a little bit more natural, but you still want to, you know, show a little bit. So I'm going to use a pencil. You can use whatever product you have. Just make sure to use a very light, light hand. So I'm going to zoom you guys into my eyebrow. I'm going to zoom you guys into my ugly eyebrow because this eyebrow has more hair than this eyebrow. So it's easier to show you guys what I mean by just kind of filling it in a little bit. So you guys can see that right here, it's more like sparse and not a lot of hair. So I'm going to take my little brush and the pencil and why isn't it focusing? And just kind of like tap on the pencil. If you have a powder, if you have a pomade, it's kind of the same thing. You don't want to take a lot. And we're just going to kind of fill in our brows very lightly and not make them too dark. This is kind of hard. Now that I'm right here doing it, I'm known for very dark eyebrows and I don't tend to do natural looking eyebrows, but I'm going to try today. So you just kind of want to like, you see how it's kind of getting darker, but not extremely dark and you don't really need it on your whole eyebrow. I just kind of put it on that part because, you know, it was, it was a little bit light right there and then I kind of just comb. And kind of like comb how you want your eyebrows to be placed. And wherever you see like, you know, that it needs more darkness, you're just going to apply it. Like I still feel like I need darkness right here. Now that's pretty good. And I'm going to apply a little bit under the eyebrow, not a lot. And a little bit towards the front just to make them a little bit more fuller. And that's pretty much it for your eyebrows. It looks pretty natural. 
and you did not waste 10 minutes on your eyebrows. You legit could do this in like a minute. I'm doing it slowly because I'm trying to explain, you know. But you can do all these steps very, very fast in the morning. It does not take that much time. This eyebrow, of course, does not need a lot of help, but I'm just going to apply some on the top very quickly. There you go. Then kind of, you can use your spoolie to kind of blend in the product. And this eyebrow really, truly does not need a lot of help. So I'm only kind of... More, I do more so like product in the front of my eyebrow, and that's pretty much it. So that's all I'm gonna do for my eyebrows today. These are the the naturalist brows I've ever done in my entire life. Um, what I'm also gonna recommend you guys do is also get any type of brow gel, and this will also help make your brows look very put together. And you did not even take a lot of time doing your brows. You're just gonna comb them in very nicely. So the next thing we're gonna do is our eyelashes. I do not do any eyeshadow because honestly you don't need any eyeshadow for this simple look. So for eyelashes, I have very straight eyelashes. So the only thing I do is curl my lashes and I only use the two mascaras that I showed in my previous video. Any Maybelline mascara honestly is so good. They're so cheap and they just get the job done. Honestly, this will be the most tedious thing in the whole routine other than nothing pr practically. This is going to be the longest step in the whole process. So this is the eyelashes. As you can see, I go very dramatic on my lashes, kind of. Um, and this just helps with like opening up, I guess, opening up, not really opening up, but like making you more awake. And I don't know, I just really like the look of eyelashes like this, very curled, very in your face. Um, so the next thing I would do is put some Carmix on. I don't like lip gloss or like any lipstick at school. I just don't feel like it's practical. So I'm just going to put on some Carmix on my lips. And this not only moisturizes your lips, but it looks like a lip gloss. So two in one, I love it. And this would be practically much what I would do on a normal like everyday basis but if you want to be a little bit more extra you can apply some highlight I'm gonna apply my Kylie highlight you don't have to use a Kylie highlight you guys can use any highlight you guys have but I'm just gonna apply a little bit of this on my cheekbones and also when you do apply highlight just apply a little tiny bit of it you know you don't want to go crazy for this kind of look um but I mean, if you if you want to go crazy, you go. You can also go for that crazy look. Doesn't have you don't have to do exactly what I say. But this is what I would do, and a little bit on your nose, and you are done. This is legit all I do, all I would do. Um, so I hope you guys really like this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did like it, and also subscribe to my channel if you like my videos. So yes, I will see you guys in next week's video. Bye!